Hi and welcome to MarkMayerski.com YouTube channel. Um, great question asked this afternoon and uh, I'm hoping to answer as many questions as possible. But um, the question was, how do I work or use a crystal? Again, I uh, take a four day crystal healing course to explain all these things. So it takes so long. So to to really bring it down to a few minutes is quite difficult, but I will do my best. Crystals are um, always best when they're close to the body. So whether you put one in your pocket, whether you uh, wear one, um, whether you hold one or whether you put one in your um, coat pocket, bag, um, that's probably the best place to keep them uh, as close as possible. The energy of crystals really should be uh, in and around your um, aura or life force, chi or prana, whatever you want to call it. This what what makes us who we are and the energy that we, we vibrate, energy that we create uh, all around us needs cleansing and clearing from uh, mobile phones, computers, uh, people, um, bad situations and all that kind of um, you know, bad foods and all of these things, they are what we call blocks. That's what people use, blocks. Um, blocks means that something isn't uh, flowing through the, um, the spiritual core, which then causes um, physical um, issues. Crystals, uh, to me, if you ask me how, how I like to, to work with them, I like them to be pretty much round the heart energy, round there. So where my chest is, right in between there. If I'm working with extreme difficult um, situations, uh, people who are, have lost a loved one, or there's been some you know really bad things happening in around them, then I will normally bring the crystal a lot lower down to my stomach, and the reason why is because the stomach area is where emotions sit. And you'll probably know that if, if you've ever been through a shock emotion of something happening, um, family member finding out there's been pain or somebody saying something really horrible to you, it instantly goes straight to the stomach. Uh, science believes that um, th this this stomach is actually, if you think about it, is very similar to the brain inside. It's the same kind of way how it looks the intestines looks kind of like similar to the brain so they call this here the emotional brain so uh, cleansing and clearing the stomach over issue is really important because as many shamans uh, know and as many healers know that um, that kind of stuff attaches to your back very badly and so if you um, if you're going through a difficult time then um, crystal lower if you're doing okay and things are okay, then raise your crystal up to your heart because uh, your heart chakra is the most important thing. Why is that? Well, if your heart's working, everything else will work. And if your heart's pumping properly, it clears the toxins, it pumps everything around and clears the blocks. You know, I mean, it's, it's just common sense, really. Me, when I work on my third eye, I quite simply lie down and place the crystal on my third eye and that just helps uh, cleanse and clear and awakens the third eye. That too on my throat chakra as well. Take the crystal off, place it in your hand and just close your eyes and uh, feel the energy cleansing and clearing the whole of your body as well. That's, that's something else you can do. There are many different ways of using a crystal. These are just one or two ways, but the bigger the crystal, I think, um, like I have three types of crystals. I have um, a pocket crystal. I have a, a like a wearing crystal and uh, I have a room crystal. The room crystals are, are, are fairly big and with them, when I work on them, uh, they're, they're fantastic. You just need to leave them in your room. Normally I'd suggest round uh, the negative uh, places in the house. That's the best place to put them. That's where they do the most work. Uh, next to your computer is always a fantastic thing and people laugh at me when I say that. And I, and I, and I just say, well, if you do any research, you'll find that most of the, the world's huge, largest computers in the world, if you look inside them, they have um, many different types of crystals and there is something very, very powerful with crystals. They are a real balancer. So 
And they even use them in pocket watches. If you, uh, if you remember the old pocket watches, they had jewels in them. Yes, because they help balance everything. So, you know, crystals are fantastic. Use them well, work with them, but most of all, take your time and listen, because sometimes they really do speak to us. I hope this little video helped, and if it did, then please subscribe to Mark Bayerski. And um, I look forward to sharing many more videos this year in 2017. Thanks a lot for joining me, everybody. I really mean that from my heart to yours. And uh, if you do want to ask a few questions, then please do, and I'll do my best to answer them. Love you all, and hope to see you at the Academy for a beautiful four-day pure energy healing course. Take care.